Welcome back. This is Ink, and in today's problem, we're going to use the nodal analysis method to find the voltage at V1 and V2 in the circuit. And then we're going to apply the information, which is the voltage at V1 and V2, to find the current Ix. We're given the terminals at which we should apply KCL, so thus let us do that. So KCL at V1, call that node 1, is going to equal to we have a 2 amps entering the terminal V1, that's going to be a negative 2. Then we take V1 with reference to ground, which is V1 minus zero, we could just write that as V1 divided by the six ohms resistor. Plus the difference V1 minus V2 all over the 12 ohms. And then we see that there is a 4 amps entering terminal V1. That's going to be a negative 4. All equal to 0. Note that the KCL at V1 that generates V1 minus V2 all over 12, this is because the wire connecting the 12 ohms resistor, we could say, we could put that wire at V2, erase this section of it, because what happens is that the voltage at this terminal, let's call that V, is going to equal V2. Thus that, thus, that is why we say V1 minus V2 all over 12. That's how that KCL portion of the node equation is generated. Now, because we know that we have two different terminals at which we're going to apply node method, um, let's simplify this uh, expression. So this expression, we factor out V1. And we have 1 over 6 plus 1 all over 12, parenthesis, minus V2 all over 12. And minus 6 and minus 4, minus 4 and minus 2 is going to equal as minus 6. We put the minus 6 over the right-hand side, gives us a plus 6. Simplifying that, we got 3V1. And this is because we multiply through by 12. So 3v1 plus minus, I should say, v2. Multiply by 12, so 6 times 12 is 72. Yep, 6 times 12 72. Had to check on my calculator again. And that's node equation 1. So let's do node 2. At terminal V2, we start by saying there is a 4 amps current leaving terminal to V2, so that's going to be positive, positive 4. Then V2 in reference to ground, so V2 minus 0 volts is V2, divided by that 6 ohms resistor. Plus... Now we take the difference between V2 and V1 all over 12. And we see that there's a negative 3 amperes entering V2. That's, well, there's 3 amperes of current entering V2, V2 so that's going to be negative. Equal to 0. Simplifying the expression, we factor out V1.
And let's just do it in a hurry because the algebra is simple. And then we got plus v2 all over 1, 6 plus 1, 12 minus negative 1. Simplifying that, we get negative v1 multiplying through by 12 again. So negative v1 plus 3v2 equals to negative 12. Now we have Let's call this one and two. Equation one and two, and if we use system of equations, or you can solve it any way you like, we get V1 equals two, 25.5 volts. In V2, Five point five volts. Excuse me, four point five volts. Now we have the necessary information to solve for the current I X. Note that to find the current I X, we can use any one of the expression within both of the node equations. We could use this expression or we could use uh, this expression. But the expression I'm going to use is going to be V2 minus V1 all over 12. And the reason why I'll be using that one is because I'll get a negative current if I apply that equation and a current entering a branch or a terminal should be negative. And that's the reason why I'm going to use that equation or expression from the node equation. So thus Ix is equal to V2 minus V1 all over 12 ohms. And that is going to equal negative 21 divided by 12 is equal to negative 1.75 amperes. And that's it. So see you in the next problem.